Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the train we were riding if you stayed for the end of the previous episode. And you'll know we struggled a bit. Our line rate, which we're going to get straight into, was, uh, oh yeah, see what you can see. 292 currently, after it did its run, we were still a little far behind. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out about 3 million. I know. I love this borrow button. I also love the repay button though, and we'll do that afterwards. Now we're going to double up on the loco and throw a couple of wagons on the back as well and get it roughly at the right uh, rate. We'll have them blue again. Hold shift, and then we can throw that at the front. And we'll throw two of those on. Doesn't matter that they're blue. That was a guess. I'm sure you guys have all come across this. You lay a, a line out, a route out, a setup, and then you look at it and think, this could be done possibly a little better. Well, today I'm going to make a change to this after we've, we've got some uh, refined oil to pick up there. And we're going to change how this works because I'm not happy with it. I feel like we could utilize... A different method to uh, get our oil into the plastics factory there. And in the meantime, we're going to be monitoring this train. Yeah, we should bring this up to just see how the speed compares to our last journey at the end of the episode. We could also do this, couldn't we? Oh, not into the smoke. There we go, like that. We'll follow it. Yeah, it was doing okay. It wasn't terrible. Can I quickly repay that? There we go. Only 14 million in debt. I mean, when the initial loan is only 10 million and all the things we've got running, that's not bad, is it? Ooh, we're going into the trees there. Actually, pause that. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> this is why I don't play reaction-based games. Dear, oh dear. Repay that. Oh, we could have paid a lot more there. I'm just going to hover over the pause button, I think. Oh, I could hold my finger over space, which is pause for me. Yeah. Oh, dear. Anyway, where was I? I'm, I'm just sad now. We missed out on a bit of a repayment. So now we're going to have to pay a bit extra in the, uh, the interest department. I like this bridge we've got. I do like that. How close are we to it? Are we going to see? Uh, let's see. Oh, bags of room. Get a bus through there. Can, well, or a train. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you can get a bus through there. So yes, we're going to see how much we get paid for the refined oil we've got waiting up here. It might be interesting to see how much we get paid for this as well. I think it's going to be a decent amount and we might be able to... Oh, no. I was going to say we might be able to pay some off our loan. But there goes all the red numbers. What do we get? 1.2 million. That's a healthy number, isn't it? How much are we taking? Oh, we've already got it selected, yes. And pinned. We are taking back. It will start producing while we're picking up the other stuff. So we'll grab a few from the uh, the stuff we already sent, the crude. And there we go. We've got 40 or 45 on there. Nice round number. I want to see how much we get paid for those 40 barrels of oil taking it down to the uh, plastics factory there keeping an eye out on our bank balance just so we can pay off some more money quick pause oh I, there's no way i was getting that there was no way i was getting that extra five hundred thousand. but we can take that there we go ten and a half k dear oh dear that was fast wasn't it timing we're nearly there this is our little shunt line. We are going to change this and then we're going to head over and do our new steel production line or lines. We're doing something slightly different. That's just, I just want to see how much this is. Pause it after, well, I don't need to pause it. Yeah, I am going to pause it. What are we looking at? 325,040. That gives us. I did absolutely edit that. 
<laughs> while I scrambled for my calculator. That gives us a uh, unit price of 8,126 per barrel of refined oil. And why that's important is because of the change we're about to make to this line. We're going to let it head down here. And uh, I actually, no, I don't think we need to. We can do something a little cheeky. Right, let's get about this change. I'm going to do some uh, modifications to our, our line here. We're going to get some money out because we'll need it. Let's just take, I don't know, 3 million. Well, that's 4 million almost. Right, we're going to get this. We're going to shove that up. And we're going to make us a nice, oh, actually, go with a square. No, circle. Circle without the uh, smoothing on the side. We're just going to level this out here. Can anybody guess what I'm doing? Is it doubling up the tracks? Is it doubling up the, uh, the train? If you guessed those, that is not what we're doing. I don't technically have to do this bit. But uh, I would like to, to give us a bit of a footing for what I'm about to do. And there we go. Now we can head off straight over there. It should be the same height. And round here too. Why am I making a little bit of a platform here? To make it easier to do the uh, the next bit. Ooh, that's not quite flat, is it? There we go. That's better. Lovely. Just smooth all that off. Official episode. So what am I doing? What do you think I'm doing? We are adding this stretch where we drop off here is going to be removed in favour of some trucks. Because our line rate, although this says 294 still, is going to be difficult to achieve with this extra leg. The last thing we really want to do anywhere on the map is have freight trains stopping and starting. So if we can remove that, I'll be all sorts of happy. It means we don't need this or all of this, which is less maintenance for us. We're going to add our little building here. Because uh, I think that's a nice place for a little road depot, don't you? Near our station there. Adds a little bit of scenery. Get that in like that. Delete this. To redo our, uh, our connection here. We're going to have a nice straight bit of road. Oh, you're just too chunky, aren't you? How that sat in wasn't pleasant. Let's just redraw this. It will make it a lot easier. There we go. That's going along there. This is going to be the main road heading up this way. We're going to start to curve in. And that is why I leveled out the terrain here. What we're going to do is where the track used to be, briefly, we're going to have our road run that. And then we're going to pop up here. What I'd like to do is get this set up so that uh, we have a, a line ready to pass any orders over to if it happens that is but we at least want to give it the option don't we for this one we'll just go with our standard i find it a lot better it's that way around isn't it i find it a lot better to do this because if you do turn around in here you're restricted to the speed of the terminus heading down this way if we have it like this with another exit and a one-way system we get to go at full speed down here. We still have to turn in. I mean, it's uh, it's not far off the same amount. Have I changed the wrong one? This one you want. Configure that. Let's get uh, a road in there. Get rid of that. And an exit there. You see we are still connected there. Really close to here. We could possibly move this up here for maximum payments. Streets. Uh, we'll just go with this for now. Nice little curve on it, so we should drive around there. We could go with a bigger one there. Now then, what we need to do is get this train up there and past. Which we should be able to do. There we go. We're shoving it up a little bit cheaty. But we might as well take advantage of this as we push our train all the way to the station. There we go. Lovely. Now we're in there. This is just to speed things along so that uh, we, when we move on, we can instantly see what sort of money that's making us. Let's just continue round here. So now, 
We've built a road where the track bed was. So that would be all under there. Really strong road. We don't need this any longer. In fact, we don't need any of that. All that work we did, guys. Undoing it all. But it's worth it. I mean, that's a lot of track maintenance that, that has vanished. Now then, what we could do is actually just come straight down here, can't we? For our drop-off. Yeah, might as well go with a big road. If we go something like that and just join in... Does that make a nice connection? It does. Because we're only dropping... Oh, does it though? I don't like that. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'd prefer it if it didn't slope down though. Could you be nice and flat? There we go, up to there. That's tidier. None of that was necessary. There we go. Right, and then what we can do is, because we're only dropping off with this, we're just going to put this on here. Uh, you can see it getting darker, that I would imagine is losing us money the darker it gets, is what we found out. So we'll put that in there, we'll make us a new line, and this is going to be from there to there. Same colour as the train, why not? It's an extension to the train line, it's doing what we originally set up, that leg there. But... We are going to be returning to this station now with crude. We might lose the stuff we've got on the platform up there. I'm not sure. We'll, uh, we'll see. Right, we want these trucks to wait until full. And we're only going to pick up our crude there. And then here we're going to unload our crude. Lovely. We need to change this line now. What we want to do here is not that one this one we want to now unload the crude there we go uh, we're going to quickly hit play on that where is this destined for it's going to worthing's plastic which you can't do so let's remanage this line and we're going to delete the plastics leg of this line whether it'll reassign it, I don't know, or whether it'll vanish. Let's see. It's got another option to drop it here. Oh, do you know what we should do? Let's activate this line so it's an option. Otherwise, it's got no reason to take it down here. So we're going to buy us our only trucks that can carry our barrels there. And we're just going to activate it. Line 1, not the best name. Maybe we should rename that. Perhaps oil haulage that'll do right hit play on that so it's assigned now where are you uh where are you destined to go has this changed this yet i think it's all going to go to the plastics until we change that part of the line where the oil freight manage line oh yeah get up there so we can see whether it passes it across remove that section oh it got rid of it never mind i mean we are dropping it off uh not that one this one dropping it off here it had to be done. It's not going to pass it. Oh, it did pass it across. Look at that. All right. That's excellent news. This is obviously not going to be uh, enough line rate to meet the demand of our new train here. Are you picking up uh, no path? Oh, we broke you. Let's uh, stop and start you. There we go. <laughs> just, uh, just pull in there. Can we flip you, actually? I don't want to waste a journey like that. Uh, not yet. Oh, we might be able to once you get past the halfway mark. Let's quickly do that. It's worth doing, isn't it? A little bit of uh, messing around here. It's only going to go up there. We'll get to see what the line rate is. It should be, yeah, more than enough. Lovely. This line rate isn't going to be anywhere close. I would like to colour these blue. And we might as well duplicate a couple to sit there there we go all right yes you pick up all your goodies and you're going to be heading off this line rate number isn't going to be very accurate to start with oh look at your money grand quick as fast as possible i forgot that we took out way too much for this line setup in fact do you know get these uh get these duplicated oh come on <laughs> the timing I could have paused it. It's not really needed. Uh, this line right here, we need to read 100, which is what this is going to supply us. 
And the maximum shipment there is 100. But this time, instead of going direct here on the train, we're going to be taking it with trucks. And uh, we're going to see how much money that is making us. Quick, pay it off. Nine million. Yes. <laughs> so how many have we got here? I like the way it passed it over and reassigned it. If we look here now, it should just be taking it back to Worthing Oil Wells, which it is. Uh, I guess we could rename this, couldn't we? And instead of Main Street, this could be Worthing Plastics. There we go. Lovely. And the same here. Worthing Sidings. Worthing... What's this? Uh, that'll do. Worthing Wells. I like it. I mean, we've got oil wells there. I like Worthing Wells. That rolls off the tongue nicely. Right, here comes our train. And then we'll head over to... Uh, start our new line and then next time out on Thursday, will be Thursday yeah we will see how much all of our new lines are making us and be a step closer to getting goods delivered to Worthing because that's the whole plan behind all of these uh, yeah I'm going to fast forward you I'm going to have my thumb over the spacebar key in case we get a big payment what I'd like to know is how much we're going to get paid for this. This leg, because it's a lot shorter. It's saying 400 there, which would be kind of nice. We've got 79 on there. Let's work out the unit price. 79. 611510. So we only lost... Ooh, look at that money. That's pleasant, isn't it? We're going to need a lot of that for our new build. So yes... That little change, our unit price we charge the factory is now 7,748, I think. It might be a zero. I kind of scribbled. Uh, but yeah, so we lose a little bit because we're obviously not taking it all the way there direct. We will gain some of that back with our trucks here. And that's what we worry about. It's going to take a little while for this to bed in. We might as well, I'm going to say four trucks on here since we can afford it just about that was pleasant we're now picking up from here again and if we're at 400 that would be ideal whether it is going to be 400 it's actually a little uh, a little under we might need to put another wagon on there but we can check it out once it's settled down and there's no need to be hasty currently we've got a bit of a problem here i might actually add another one on Look at that timing. Pause that. Manage vehicle. Yeah, I'd like to be ahead of the curve here. We may need a bigger uh, transfer. Let's repay that. Because we're kind of limited on space and we're going to be taking a lot back on our train. It might not be that much once we've got running. We had that delay where we came back down from here. Oh, we don't need this anymore, do we? That's a waste. Yeah, get rid of that. Take that. All the way back. There we go. That's better. Yeah, needless amounts of maintenance on there. Yeah, once we've settled in, we'll change that. Shall we go back over here? We could check on these, but I'm going to wait until next episode. And this is a next leg of our goods. It's all to get goods into here and take them all the way over to Worthing. And this is the uh, steel mill that we're going to be using. And we'll be setting up a truck line, similar to what we just did, actually, uh, to deliver the steel into here. Uh, it's only going to require 100. So trucks can uh, more than cope with that. We're going to be taking coal from here. I mean, we've got lots of options for coal. But I wouldn't mind taking a, a boat down there with this coal to that steel mill. Oh, there's an idea. We could go down here, couldn't we? There's a use for boats. Right, but we're going to be taking from this one. It's tempting to take it by via this one. It is going to be easier. Let's take a look at the uh, lay of the land. We've got 8.7 there. And you're about the same there anyway. But what we've got up here is 43 meters. And then when we head back down here, we're at about 32. Yeah, we've got to get this in a, a bit of a cutting haven't we and this one we've got to lose quite a bit of the grade 
Let's borrow some money. Four million might do for the, the actual initial track building. Um, we're going to go around about here. Should give us enough room to get up there. Uh, we've got 39 there. Where do we want this? Uh, we don't want it too low, do we? We're down to, should we say 20? And can we do the same up here? We don't need this section of road. We'll redo that. For our trucks, because they're going to go up the back anyway, and we'll probably avoid that completely. Let's see what we can do here. Is that 20? Just there is 20. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're down a little bit. That means all we've got to make up is 15 metres. And it's quite a distance, isn't it? It's quite a distance from there to there. Right, so this is going to be where that station's going. Right, where's 20? 19 might do. And, oh, do you know, take it. It's a bit of a, uh, a crater that we're making. It's not too bad, though. Yeah, we're already losing uh, some of the uh, side of that. I like it. It's not going to be just like that. Now then, what could we do? Where's our other one? What could we do with this to bring it up? How far do we want to go? Not too far, but we do want to at least go up a little bit. That's only 17 metres. Do we just go the other three? That's 18. Oh, it was 19, wasn't it? We don't even have to do that. Well, do you know what? Take that down. Whatever that is, because that looks nice. 17. That'll be absolutely fine. And what's that look like at 70? It's not bad, is it? It's kind of lovely. Right, let's get you done up there. I love balancing in and out like this, the track. Ooh, wow, that's costing us an absolute fortune. Let's borrow a load more money. I hope we've got enough money to stick some trains on here. How much did I borrow? Ooh, terraforming. Is it worth it, though? I think so, to keep our trains running optimally and not fighting against the grade. Right, there we go. And then we're going to be heading that way. Uh, yes. Oh, no, you've messed that up. You don't get any refunds for messing that up, so maybe I should just leave that alone. And what instead we'll do is get our train stations in. Uh, save as much money as possible on these. We'll get them somewhere in the middle. We should be able to make a nice access road. Oh yes, don't need uh, any of that. I might just stick these to 240. Because we've got quite the distance to travel. And uh, Get you in there. That saves a lot of messing around. And get you somewhere in there. That should be kind of nice. It's almost perfect. Look at that. We're going to have to have a little bit of a slope there. And this one we don't need as big. I'm just going to put this at 160 get you in there right then lovely oh i was gonna double track this do you want to do it like this not really i tell you what we do want to do we want to get rid of this this and this and utilize a single platform and then only have one additional platform on this side i mean it could be passenger technically then we'll need our cargo building not that one this one i don't know whether they're different price oh I didn't know you could do it like that. That's pleasant. Well, that adds something different to it. Doesn't make sense. Or does it? Oh, it might do. I know. I don't know where it attaches. Put it there. I'm unsure about that. It did look cool, though. Right, then. Now, we are all the way over here. It's quite the distance, isn't it? We are going to connect this directly and see what it does. I would definitely have a tunnel as opposed to a uh, cutting I don't think a, a tunnel all the way is worth it no let's make this section flat here uh, but we'll make this bit of cutting because it was that's a little bit excessive isn't it oh did you take it off why would you take it off I don't want it. I would like it as a cutting there we go I want to see some of the uh, oh no I've put catenary on I want to see some of the track well, let's take that catenary off. We don't need that. Then we'll have a, a little bit of a tunnel. We don't need it directly as a tunnel from the station, although it'll look kind of cool. Right, tracks. We don't need any tunnel for this first section. We're going to keep it nice and flat as well. And then we'll have our tunnel from that point. Just so we can do some uh, 
terraforming later on. This is costing us a fortune. Ooh, our train's going to have to be quite small, I think. It might even be maximum loan territory. Worth the investment, I'm going to say. Right, bring that in to here. We're going to double track it. Whether we save a bit of money on that, I don't know. We should do, right? How much is that going to be? That is a little, quite a bit cheaper. Right, and then we've got the, the journey down here. Do we need a tunnel there? Uh, no, I don't think we do. We need to get rid of this road and possibly redo that. Let's see what it's like, just drawing it. I want it as straight as possible. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to go all the way around like that with a viaduct, however impressive it looks. Made a mess here, didn't I? Dear, oh dear. Right, yes. Just put that like that. Yeah, that's pleasant. This, uh, this embankment will be absolutely fine. I'm going to pay for this. I'm going to pay all the money we can afford to uh, get this up and running. It is going to be a massive profit earner for us. You may be wondering why I'm connecting to there. This is really going to be for a little bit of realism if we can get a nice 75 down here. Uh, just so we're connected. Technically we don't have to be, but I like it. There we go, yes. Right, can you go down something like that? That's nice and close, isn't it? Get that nice and straight and we'll slide into there. No, you're not spending money on smoothing. We'll tidy it up. Oh, that's a ramp and a half. Well, it's an access road, isn't it? We're not actually driving up there. I don't mind that. And it's it's actually not that high up in the great scheme of things, especially if you smooth that, which we will do. It won't be like this when we're done. It's the beginnings of hopefully something impressive. I would like to configure this one as well. Uh, we don't need all this extra uh, fancy on here. Can we get up here pleasantly? I think we can. It's going to cost us again. What I'd like to do is go up as steep as possible. This is very much quarry territory, isn't it? I like that. Right, and then we can hopefully just keep heading up like this and hook in there. I wouldn't mind another road heading this way. Don't do that, though. Heading this way. If we can get that connected, does it make it a little brighter? A little. Perhaps. I like this, though. That's pleasant. Yeah. We could even have that drive round here and reconnect back up to there, then. Uh, let's not waste too much money with stuff we don't actually need to do. So it's safe to say we've spent quite a bit setting all this up, but it's pleasant. And you can sort of see the amount of uh, detail, well not detailing, but prettyifying we can possibly do with this. And are we connected there nicely? Yes, that'll do. And we may as well trigger this. What do you reckon, guys? Should we get like a, a little truck stop here? Get that flat. Then we'll have another section running down like that. And then we'll slide into there. I would like to remove unnecessary wiggles in the road. Because the vehicles will slow down. I'd also like to upgrade this road. Before I forget. So let's get rid of the wiggles there. I don't mind some curve. Just not quite that much curve you see that's a pleasant curve the rest of it was unnecessary and likewise we're just going to drop off over here so let's upgrade all of that all we'll need then is a, a little building to drop off just there near the path beautiful we'll just unload throw it all in there and up here could we go into there perhaps maybe right configure that that can go in that way. I don't mind it too lane out here. That'll be absolutely fine. Straights. Let's get you connected. Down to there. Then we turn off. Pull in. Pick up our stuff. 
we're going to keep these on here. We're going to toy with all the line rates. Now I think we're we're all ready to go and get some trains on. We're going to have one here. And so we're going to add depots because I don't want unnecessary traveling time. Even though it's becoming less and less of an issue. Oh, what are you doing, Grand? That was a bit click happy. Dear, oh dear. That cost me a fortune. Right, get rid of this. We will be uh, reconnecting that. But we've got to pay for these trains. I do want to get rid of these depots. As we're spending an absolute monstrous amount. I mean, I guess it's borrow as much as we can. Let's go maximum loan, shall we? That's it. 12.6 million for two trains. This one being the longest. We will get a little bit back. Uh, let's make our lines then. This is going to be going all the way down to there. Uh, we want to be on P3. Is it P3? I think it's going to be P3. Yeah, that's the outside one. This one's going to be taking ore. And we're going to rename that Bradford Steel Mill. And this one is going to be Aylsham Iron Mine. We want to wait until full. We're not going to run a full train, obviously, because we're broke. But what we're going to do is load us some... Where's our iron? Oh, it's right at the top. Load us some iron there. Unload some iron ore. It's at the top, Grand. There. And that's it. That's all that's going to do. We're going to have a separate coal run. And what we're going to do is uh, over the next episode is go and balance all of our lines, including our original one. This is, uh, I guess, Alsham Iron Freight. And then we want another line just here doing the coal part of it. Do we have black? We do. Look at that. Lovely. I mean, it's kind of a grey, really, but black's nice. Or we could go with a dark grey. There we go. And this will be Bradford Coal Freight. There we go. And we've got all the names set already, do we? No, this one should be Bradford Coal Mine. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get the big one done first and uh, try and figure out how, much, how we're going to spread this out. And we're just going to go as much power as possible with this one. Uh, let's take a look at Steam Locos. I might just go with this. It's one, three. Yeah, I might go with that and this for this one. Uh, if we go with that to start with, though, that's going to cost us a, a small fortune, isn't it? Is it is it worth it? Because we're only going to have this doing the other one. Yeah, do you know what? I think so. Cargo. Let's get some coal on. And, uh, oh, do you know? We could actually colour that loco. Should we colour them? Uh, the actual locos themselves. To represent the line. Uh, but leave the wagons. The default colour. There we go. Oh, that's a nice orange train, isn't it? Let's do that. We're going to get... We don't want to spend all of this because we've got to fire up the other line as well and hopefully get the truck running uh, doing its delivery part. Seven million. I'm going to take it up to eight. Doesn't leave as much. I'm going to say yes. That's what we're going for. And we're going to get you on there. Right. This line. Did I set up the... Uh, I didn't. Let's set up the weight until falls. Load there. Maximum weight time. Full load. And we want to unload our coal there. And steam. Get that on. How many can we get on? Oh, you didn't color it. Well, that one is black. So I'll tell you what. We'll color these uh, the dark color. How many can we fit on there and still buy as a truck? It's tight. It's going to get us going. That's all we need. We're spending every last penny. Right, lovely. Uh, don't leave it in there. We want to set this onto the coal line. Did I do this one? I think so. Yeah, there's no vehicles in there. In fact, what we can do is now get rid of these. Make sure we've got absolutely every penny back. Same with this one. Get you up 
into the platform there. And we should be separate on our lines there. I don't really want to uh, have a single track doing that. We can pretty much afford this. Do we have that line set up? We do not. So another new line from here to here. And that's kind of a steely color. Should we go with that? That looks good enough. And that will be wait until full. That's not what we called that. They're all different names, guys. Be Risborough Steel Mill. We'll change the other one to Risborough Steel Mill. This one. I don't think it really matters, but may as well. Risborough Steel Mill, because that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, Prince's Risborough Steel Mill. I don't know why I capitalized it. Well, that's what we're going with. Right, and this one would be... Is that Sandhurst? Yeah. Sandhurst Goods Factory. And this will be... That, we already named it, Gren. And this is... Uh, Risborough Steel Haulage. There we go. Haulage for trucks. Uh, it's just going to do a little loop here. I don't mind it doing that. We're going to make absolutely maximum money. Let's get us a truck doing that. Oh, we get the flatbed. Look at that, which carries a little bit more. Yes, perfect. Let's get you on on there. Uh, do you know what? Let's throw a couple on. Let's get that started. Now, hopefully, this is going to trigger the entire chain. We've got no more money left. We've got maximum loan taken out. And uh, we're going to see what happens. Are you going to start supplying as goodies? Or have I messed it up? I might have messed it up. Uh, you are not triggering. Guys, I've messed up. That didn't take long. Are you connected? You are connected. What, the, what have I done? This is iron, isn't it? What's up with this line? Right, quickly. Let's see if I can figure out what's going Oh, grand. What have you missed there? Yeah. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? Grand, that is not the train you are looking for. Manage vehicle. Because we've been doing so much with our oil trains, I completely messed that up. Right, get on there. Well, that actually works. Right. Replace that. Does that work for us? Are you good to go? There we go. Oh, guys, I had a moment there. Right, pause that. Let's just double check the line here. We want to be picking up. There we go. We've got it. We've got it. Oh, that was embarrassing. It happens. We are now broke. This one's okay. I did that one fine. What was up with me up there? Too much into the whole oil business. I hope you enjoyed that one. We've got lots to do when we come back. We've got to get this line balanced and expanded. I have saved it, so uh, we're not going to lose out on anything. I'm looking forward to it. We've got a big old tunnel here. We're going to have roads going across the top, possibly more some more train track. I think the investment is definitely going to be worth it. Probably not in the future when we've got some more powerful trains that can just cope with the slope regardless it also depends how far on the journey it is uh, for this bit it would have been downhill wouldn't it mistakes were made no but the other one's full well it would have been not full if it was still tank cars on the back unfortunately i spotted it i had no choice because nothing was working all right guys thank you for watching and until next time take care